Hey, what's up? We're here with a new episode of Comic Book Movie with a little bit of TV news involved. Um, we're going to start off with one of the most interesting uh, t- things to talk about this week. Michael B. Jordan has announced that he is a producer in a Static Shock live action movie at Warner Brothers. Now, Nick, I'm not as familiar with Static Shock and many of our audience members may not be either. So could you give us kind of info into who this character is and what a live action movie like look like uh, might look like? For sure, for sure. Um, so for those who don't know, Static Shock is one of DC's many uh, teen heroes. So he's taking after like the many Robins, uh, the many uh, Wonder Girls, um, Spider-Man even, and his um, he had a TV show, well, a really popular animated show, like in the early 2000s. Um, and if they take, and I'm assuming they're going to take a little from that, like how can they not, like as that was like the benchmark representation, like adaptation of Static for a while. And what made that show so, and the comics it was based on so unique and iconic was that Static is a very like down to earth character. Um, he's this very like laid back, um, wisecracking teenager, but he's dealing with like classic like urban issues. So like drugs, but dealing with um, uh, uh, sex trafficking, dealing with like not not that was that 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 wasn't shown in the show, but like in the the comics, like that's brought up. Even um, like racism, because Static is a black super, a black teenager, black superhero, and so even that. Um, is brought up consistently and so um, one to have this movie come out I think is very exciting because Static's kind of been on the back burner for a while now I think people will kind of misconstrue the news as Michael B. Jordan is playing Static but he's he's not he's just producing and it's the producing team is him and uh, Reginald Hudlin who directed Marshall with Chadwick Boseman so two pretty uh, talented and passionate guys as produ- um, producing the film. I have no idea when this thing will come out at all, but I think I think it's definitely a cool property to adapt. It's we're gonna have another teen hero, another like uh, someone who kind of matches that like on the ground, uh, like grounded feel that like Luke Cage and like uh, Daredevil was able to tap into. And I don't know. I think it's pretty. I think it's uh, going to be a cool project. We'll see how it develops in the coming years. Hopefully, it's sooner rather than later. Awesome. That sounds pretty good to me. I mean, but move. Let's move on to Doctor Strange Two ads. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to say this name. Um, from what I've read, it's pronounced Sochi, but that could be completely wrong. But Sochi Gomez, mm-hmm. uh, to the cast list. Uh, what are your initial thoughts on this casting, and do, who do you think she could be playing? Well, there are, there's many a rumors about who she is playing. As for my reactions to her, um, apparently from what I've read, she's like, she's like an emerging actress. She's like, I think like still a teenager. I may have gotten her age wrong. Sorry. That's great. Um, but um, I think she was in that Netflix series, uh, The Babysitter's Club, which apparently that was like really well received. So um, I, I'm, I'm like indifferent because like I have nothing to base like, like um, performance wise, I've never seen anything of her. But as for characters, a lot of people are saying she's playing uh, Mrs. America. Is that yeah, the, yeah, like, or America yeah. Chavez. America way, Chavez. Okay, because right. I was like, Mrs. America is a Kate Blanchett show. I wasn't sure if that was the same one. Um, but yes, there's a lot of rumors that she is playing that character, and I don't know that character as well. But there is, from what I've read, she also has like multiverse ties or something along those lines. I may have been reading from another storyline or whatnot, but uh, if that part of her character is true, then it definitely makes sense for a movie called In the Multiverse of Madness. Um, I mean, this is one of the most unpredictable Marvel properties, I feel, right now, just because, like, like going off the news that Doctor Strange is joining Spider-Man 3, I have no idea what's going to happen in this movie. So um, this will definitely, this will definitely for sure be an interesting character whatever she ends up um being and doing in the film yeah i'm pretty excited just from a perspective of trying to get more um, latin americans in uh superhero films and films in general as well but superhero films um so i think that's pretty cool that you have a latin american actress um that's in that role i don't know too much about the character this is kind of beyond my comic book knowledge 
Uh, I know that she is, I think she's from like a parallel universe. Or I don't exactly understand how it works, but American Chavez or Miss America seems to be the consensus of who she's going to be playing. There have been a lot of rumors about uh, Doctor Strange 2 looking to cast someone in that role, I think a few months ago. Uh, there was someone, I think, I can't remember who had the scoop of they're looking, they're currently casting that role. But I'm pretty excited about it. Um, you know, there, we'll find out more, I think, in the future. But that's kind of as much as we know right now. So we're going to move on to another Marvel property um, shared with Sony. Spider-Man 3 reportedly starts filming in New York um, right now. What are your thoughts on it starting to shoot so soon? And do you think Tom Holland's there? Because I know he's also shooting Uncharted. Yeah, that's the thing. I, like, I... I don't know in regards to factual sense, like how that's working, but I mean, um, I mean, who knows, maybe they're shooting supporting character scenes or they're getting like, they're just starting like, um, I'm just in the stage of getting like, you know, like just environment shots. I'm not sure, but uh, I mean, one good to see that again, the industry is kind of like trying to go back to normal and getting projects up and going. Um, I mean, it's hard to say. This project has been, like Doctor Strange 2, has been so weird and so unpredictable in what has been reported about and what's happening with it. I do know they said there's there might be a first look come December. What that looks like, whether it's concept art or some sort of like 50-second tease, I'm not sure. But uh, I mean, good, just good to see them up and running again. Who knows, maybe we'll have some like paparazzi shots like we did with the Batman a few a few weeks ago to go to further investigate but um other than that that's that's all i got yeah i mean the thing that i've been thinking about is a first look in december like how are they going to do that like these films are so cg heavy that it'd be it'd be very difficult for it to be an actual trailer mm -hmm. so I, I somehow doubt it we'll see a trailer until early next year at the you know if you're lucky mm -hmm. uh but probably not until the summer of next year we'll get a trailer just mm -hmm. because of how this is sh being shot. I'm curious if they're doing the stand-in and digital uh, replace approach to shooting this film where they're shooting it with everyone else but Tom Holland. These, both films are Sony films, Uncharted, which is currently shooting, and Spider-Man, even though it's also a Marvel co-production. Sony is running the production, I believe. Or they're, they're really in charge because they have this, they own the Spider-Man character. So I'm really curious if they're doing stuff where he's like, they have a stand-in for him and they're just going to digitally replace him later. Um, or, or maybe he is there and we just don't know. Um, but I'm excited that it's starting to shoot. I believe it's supposed to come out December of 2021. Yeah, that seems about right. That's a tight deadline for mm -hmm. them to just be starting the shooting process. Right. Uh, especially, I mean, I mean, the problem is we don't know what Doctor Strange's role is. This a multiverse type film as well, because that changes what the visual effects look like. Mm -hmm. Because as much as a Spider-Man movie has a ton of visual effects, Doctor Strange's uh, yeah. not on the scale of the next level with the visual effects. I bet you those took forever. So I would, ha I, I might have some worries about them making the December twenty twenty one release date, but. I think they could probably do it. They have all of October or half of October, November and December. Mm -hmm. So that's two and a half months right there. You probably have another two and a half. Yeah, they can make the, they can make a December date, I think actually. Right. Um, but I'm just hyped that I'm hyped to hear all this news that stuff's still being made, that there is, there's a hope in the future of movies and that there um, is a future. Yeah. And that people, you know, they wouldn't be filming all this stuff right now if they thought movie theaters weren't going to, exist in six months mm -hmm. so i think that's also something that gives me a lot of hope but we're going to move on to uh some people that may be standing or flying behind you uh black adam uh adds sarah shy shy that's how i've been pronouncing it uh to the cast i'm not exactly sure uh what role is i'm not really familiar with uh black adam you you probably are more so than i am you want to break this down for us right so well first the actress i'm really excited for she was a part of the cbs sci-fi crime show called person of interest she was an absolute badass there um 
one of the, like she's like a core part of the cast and just to see her in another uh property is really great because i like she was like my second favorite character in that show she was so awesome and right now she has her character description is like she's a university professor and like freedom fighter and she's been giving no name but most people assume that she's the woman behind me he's a character named isis who in the comics she starts off basically like the character description she starts off as this like freedom fighter who like is one of the few people one of the few humans who like is willing to stand up to like black adam and like talk like directly to his face despite his power and this eventually like blossomed into like a romantic relationship of course and eventually um the girl the woman whose name real name is adriana tomas i believe she is like granted magical powers of her own and so they became like this superpower dynamic duo black adam and isis and um I think with the way they're like not directly confirming it is kind of a confirmation like um that this is that character and I mean if it's not that'll be pretty surprising since it's a perfect setup but going off the assumption that she is Isis I think it'll be definitely very cool I think it'll be definitely um an interesting way to give Black Adam a like someone else to talk to because the other people who've been announced for the film are all presumably going to be fighting him no centineo um, and aldous hodge and so to have someone who may provide help bring out that more emotional side and that more human side i think is going to be just really critical to the film and to whatever arc um black adam goes on and i'm definitely very intrigued to see uh the rock and sarah Shah- shahi shahai go um like play off against each other i think this could definitely be a very fascinating if this is again her this is the character she's playing this could be a definitely a very interesting romantic relationship to watch um unfold in the way that for instance um yaya and yaya abdul mateen second and regina king were in watchmen a kind of unorthodox but still like human relationship despite the two like vastly different parties so excuse me just just in just in general intrigued and excited to see what comes of her role in the film Yeah, I'm pretty, the more I hear about this movie, Mm -hmm. as someone who doesn't know a lot about the Black Adam character, um, or really anything, to be perfectly honest, the more I hear about this movie, the cast and the character descriptions for who they're going to be playing, I keep on getting more and more excited to see this film. I know this film took forever to get made, partially because The Rock is like always booked for the next five years. Right. but I'm really excited for this movie to start filming and eventually come out so I can finally see it in theaters. I think The Rock said that after, I think they're, sh- they're shooting for a spring 21 um, film start, filming start. So um, hopefully they, they're able to get there on time. Yeah, it's probably after Red Notice, I think. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. And staying in the world of DC, because it's in London, London's kind of renowned for being um, a place where set photos get leaked for some reason. Um, For those of you that may not know, um, and this seems like such a big leak Mm -hmm. if it's true and we don't know what the implications are because it's a photo. Those, some people remember for Rise of Skywalker, there are images of Ben Solo and Ray fighting the emperor uh, that came out months before the film released and they weren't in any of the trailer material this seems like it could be just as big of a leak if it's true in any way shape or form uh there's a photo of superman and wonder woman in the new batman film or at least on set um now they look more reminiscent of the christopher reeves uh era of superman and gosh i'm forgetting her name who played wonder woman the carter yes yeah it looks like those it's more of that era of costumes so we don't know what that means if they're if superman and wonder woman exist in this universe or not so i'm going to turn it over to you nick and what are your thoughts i i think honestly from what the way the costumes looked in the image and from the way like you're just going off the vibe of the original trailer for the movie i'm more inclined to believe that those are hollow like those are people those are people wearing halloween costumes and those are like actual characters just because like um there's been several photos of like various like set designs since that have sparked like other rumors about like oh 
is there a greater DC universe at work? I mean, Matt Reeves has emphasized over and over that, you know, the Batman is not connected to DCEU. So I don't think, you know, despite obviously what appears to be obviously including these parts, I don't think he would be one to introduce overt connections to a wider, um, wider um, universe of characters. I think more that these, more so that these characters are just people wearing Halloween costumes, which could be a very interesting implication because one of the most iconic Batman stories take place at Halloween. So, I mean, maybe that might be a, a stretch and deduction, but um, that could be, I don't know, just a very interesting thing. And I think if this is the way Marys is kind of going, like the DC universe, the, you know, it's not like Christian Bale's Batman where he's the only superhero. Like there's, there's, there are others out there. I think this is like a pretty low key way to do is just have people in Halloween costumes. I think that at least that's the way I interpreted the images. Yeah, I was kind of bummed to be perfectly honest. Um, one of the things I was really looking forward to this Batman was movie was just being its own film mm-hmm. with no one else involved. Uh, so I was kind of hoping that it'd be a solo thing with no references to anyone else. But I think if it, it will be fine. I don't want to, I, to be perfectly honest, and this is me personally, I don't want a Superman and a Wonder Woman in this world, yeah. but I'm fine if they're in the world and just being alluded to and not really in the forefront. That's what yeah. I really care about. Right. But anyways, that wraps up our latest episode of Comic Book Movie News. Let us know what you thought. Uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video, and we'll see you next time. Peace.